Hey, it's Jabo. In this video, we're going to be opening this package from Dakota. And we're going to be picking a BrickLink order for, I can't get this right, is for P13D3353 from BrickLink. And he's got a couple of BrickStar answer thingy questions, so we'll answer those questions in this video. I'm wearing this shirt, which is a DeLorean, and it said Time Fly. Time flies on the back. Another deal my wife found. Uh, she's getting me through December. We're at what, December 7th? 24 more days to go in the year. Uh, so so uh, we're going to be picking this order uh, for, I'll just say, he's got the same name as I do, but it's not me. <laughs> All right, and that, so let's do the order. It's not an order, it's a it's a uh, package from Dakota from Brick Trains. Not from Joey from Brick Trains, it's from Dakota. So this is for something we've already shown on the channel, but I wasn't completely happy. Oh my goodness. <laughs> I wasn't completely happy with how it looked and I didn't have the parts uh, available to fix it. So <laughs> it's got, so these are, oops, I'm getting a taste of my own packing here, wrapping things in a um, Lego bag. These are the old vintage windows. This is the four wide with a lot of lip, and there's three wide. So I needed about five or six of each, I think. So this is for the London bus. So we did the video of the London bus that was from the Lego blueprints from 1965 and what we're going to do just let you know um, I gotta go get the parts to build the windmill from the blueprints Joey's already built this astronaut and the Anna Miranda and Mark build a house <laughs> blueprints and he's going to work on the other one so there's a windmill and a boathouse so I think he's going to do the boathouse and I'm going to get the parts for the windmill so I need to do that but yeah I wanted to have it's going to look better having the windows that are all the same. And these are, man, these, they feel like cellulose acetate, <laughs> which is from that era, 1965. And, and this is who it's from, Dakota. Check it out. And he signed it. He signed it on the back. He says, Dear Jabbo, Dakota packed your stuff and wrote his name and made a number nine train. There's the number nine train right there. Thank you, Dakota. Very good job. And this is from Brick Trains. He's got a... What is this? What's this, Joey? <laughs> and some Brick Trains. Oh, these... So if you have another device... <laughs> if you have another device... Like, play this on your computer and then take your phone and scan the QR codes. And that will take you to his BrickLink store and to his YouTube channel. I'd like to make cards like this for myself. I haven't had cards in like three or four years. Uh, but thank you, Dakota. Wait, Dakota, Dakota, uh, for that. I'm going to put that away in my file. All right, now let's do the order. Uh, actually, first, let's answer the questions, or one of the questions. Um, and the, the questions are, what do you think of all the Lego sets that were recently, um, wait a minute, I can't read small print. What do you think of all the Lego sets that were recently revealed for the first wave of 2022? To me, it looks like the Lego company is finally getting back up on its feet. Uh, also, also the other question is, it's got three questions. Do you agree that 2019 through 2021 were terrible years for Lego City. Also, do you think that Lego City sets for 2022 are an improvement compared to what we've received for the past few years? And three, are you totally excited, as I am, as he says, uh, for the 40518 high-speed train? And it says, finally, an affordable Lego train that isn't a hard-to-find polybag or gift with purchase. <laughs> um, all right, so, oh, and he mentions, do you want to get two of them to build what's shown on the box? So the 405, 40518 train. So we're going to pick this order. So what I'm going to do is move the camera. 
it actually takes longer to do a Pablo than to actually pick the order the way you would normally pick it. So first of all, about Lego City, as he's getting some doors here, these look like they go to a train. Maybe I should have taken the can. I should do the GoPro thing. <laughs> Lego City. Uh, I agree with the statement that you made that it was pretty bad, 2019 to 2021. Uh, I've totally gotten disinterested in City as the sets have been progressively more expensive and bad. It wouldn't be so bad if they weren't so expensive for what you get. So I've not been interested in any of the Lego City sets other than a occasional camper van or something like that or something that I can get on clearance. So anyway, he asked about, you know, am I excited for 2022 reveals? Haven't seen many of them. <laughs> I'm not, I'm not one that gets into the um, hype for the the new releases until I actually see them in hand. And so one of the things uh, that's up right up my alley of things that I like is the modular theme. And they got the new hotel, boutique hotel, which everybody was super excited. And there were some people thinking it was going to be like a updated version of the cafe corner it kind of felt like it wouldn't be but i was actually kind of hoping that it would uh, yeah it wasn't it's nothing like it and it was pretty disappointing just from the preliminary pictures based on the size of it uh, if you want to see some comparisons i like uh, the discussion that um what's his name <laughs> oh my brain is my brain is fried I was thinking of Brick Revolution. Brick Revolution, I did a video talking about it. And it's, it's, this is my view of that set, the Boutique Hotel, and other things that are coming out. Lego has gone the way of the candy bar and the half gallon of ice cream. They trick people by saying, oh, we're going to keep the price the same. So this Boutique Hotel costs the same as the last modular. <laughs> but it is uh, uh, significantly smaller. It has more pieces, which I imagine are, because it has a lot of small pieces. Dang, I cannot do this and talk at the same time. How many of these do I need? I need six, 1674. So yeah, just like your half gallon of ice cream is now less than a half a gallon, but costs the same price that it used to. The same way your Milky Way bar is about two thirds the size that it used to be, actually probably costs more now. <laughs> That's what Lego is doing with certain sets and modulars. It's part of, you know, cost rising. I understand uh, things going up in price. I mean, that's what happens with everything. This is really hard to do this way. I'm gonna drop the, whoa. So this is why I usually go back and forth between the table. It's, it's not as efficient. Uh, but as far as filming, it's impossible to film the way I was. <laughs> Unless I have the GoPro on the tray or on my head, something like that. This this is going to be easier to do it this way. So what was I talking about? Oh, yeah. This, so the, the sets are shrinking. Yes, it's got more pieces than the police station, but you see them side by side. Uh, it doesn't pass the eye test. Uh, it does have little neat things, but man, $200 is too... I can't get past that. It's $200, and you know it'll never be discounted. So, so that's what stinks. Is, is You're paying the same price as last year for a smaller building and with le less space on the inside. That's the other thing that kind of stinks. It's kind of a small hotel. All right, now for the real discussion, the train, the, the 40518. The first time I saw this, m and Production sent me a... <laughs> A message and said, hey, look, uh, Lego's making a train. And I was like, something doesn't look right with this. You know, this was my first impression. I saw it and I was like, wheels don't look right. Something's not right here. And then I, as I looked at it closer, I was like, oh, that's not a train. <laughs> I mean, it is a train. It's, a, it's an interesting model. I cannot. There we go. <laughs> it's interesting, but it's four wide, which in itself isn't bad. It's probably the best four-wide train LEGO has ever made. 
uh, mainly because it's probably the first four wide train I've ever made <laughs> that wasn't a poly bag. And as you said, oh, it's better than some poly bag, but it's really a glorified poly bag. So this is not, uh oh, what number did I need to go? 2808. This is not a train like that will run on Lego train track. It's only for, oh man, I should have done this differently. It's, it's four wide. So it's not for the normal train track. So it's not, I don't, I hope that you realize that <laughs> when you looked at it, that it's a tiny, small little train. Yes, it looks good, but it, for its size, <laughs> it's not that bad. So that's why it's only $20. <laughs> It's because it's just a poly bag. It's a poly bag in a box. It's like two poly bags in a box, I guess. I just dropped one of these and I don't know where it went. So one day we're going to be looking for one of those. It's going to be short one. And I dropped it today. All right, 30, 12, I need 20. So yeah, I, I, I'm not impressed with it. I will get it. I probably will get, like you said, I'll probably get two. But it ain't going to be running on no train track. They show it in the 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 photos promoting it by Lego. Just shows it kind of sitting on a dresser, and it's going to be like extremely fun for children. Uh, no, it's not. <laughs> no, it's not. <laughs> it's not going to be fun. For children. <laughs> They'll get tired of it pretty quick, I think. And collectors like me are really like, okay, I'm going to get it because it's a train. You got me, you know, you're going to get my $40 because I'm going to get two of them, but it's not what I wanted. I want one like that that is full size that'll run on Lego train tracks. Oh, and speaking of that, here in his order, so we'll go around to the other side, he's actually got some of the wheels. These are the wheels that that train will have. 3580. How many did you get? You got four of these. You know, these are the wheels that that train has right here oh look at that I got four in one one swoop there so yeah those aren't the train wheels we were expecting <laughs> for a train set there are f I need three more of these I can't, this is hard it's hard two four six eight two four six eight I got too many of them. <laughs> he only needed eight. I got ten. Two, four, six, eight. It's hard to do. Pablo's are hard. So, tell me what you think about the new train. This is why I don't get involved in really too much looking at um, press releases and pictures because sometimes it's you know until you get something in your hand it's it's hard to know for sure what you're going to think about it i mean i mean yeah you can tell by the box yeah i mean i know from looking at the box box art that if it's something i want to get but then you like this was a little misleading i think the train was a little misleading and that it was it's hard to tell you didn't have anything to compare it to it's just a picture of it by itself not on track so first impression it might look like the Horizon Express, which is, we got one down here. Let me show you. So you get these two little things here. But, you know, the Horizon Express, where is it at? I have it right there. See, it's, that train is kind of in this style, but it ain't that. <laughs> All right, I think I've talked enough about that. I think you know how I feel about it. Let's finish your order up. Uh, before it gets too late. How many of these did he get? These are half bricks, only one well half curves. These were in some of these were in the Titanic in a different color. I think they were tan. Now 4883. I need six of these. Oh getting down on the floor hurting my knees. Oh it's dark over here. I don't feel like turning on the light. This one over here by itself. I got to do something to get this. This would go good with the acro mill stuff. I need to just reorganize this basement. It's one of the things I want to do and 
maybe early next year, reorganize the containers. So we got one of these, probably, probably uh oh. Huh. What's that doing in there? <laughs> oh. Oh no. Oh no. Oh no, 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 no. No, 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 no. Oh, that's gray. I was in the yellows. I was like, what is that piece doing there? It's the wrong thing. I got, I got a problem having things with the same lettering system. <laughs> this is what he ordered. This golf set here. No, just a flesh wound. We also got a sticker. 58. Got a lot of stickers. Octane sticker here. Got one of these. And then one more thing. This little thing is a one of the Star Wars thingies. Uh, yeah. So there is the order. I just got to pack it all up. Uh, he's working on a 460 steam locomotive mock. Uh, might change it to an RS3. He just thought that me Meccano chair from Star Wars looked cool. <laughs> and he said this will be his first friend set. So I'll try to straighten this poly bag out here. A little golf, mini golf set. It'll be his very first friend set. So anyway, thank you so much uh, for the order. Thank you, Dakota, for the windows for the uh, London bus. And I look forward to seeing you. New. Oh, well, maybe you won't be coming. Oh, dang it. I'm just going to see. I guess I'll just see you, Grandpa. <laughs> I need a grandson to help me in the store. All right. So thanks for watching this video. Thanks for the order. Get this thing packed up. Again, thanks to Dakota. Thanks to you guys for watching. Don't ask for Pablo. <laughs> Because <laughs> I'm li liable to make a mistake. My wife does a much better job of picking uh, than, than I do. But uh, look forward to seeing some of you guys in, wow, just about a little over a month. We'll be at Brick Fair in Alabama. So they'll be here before you know it. Uh, hope to see some of you there. And I'll see you in a different shirt tomorrow. I mean, I'll be in a different shirt. And you'll be watching. And I won't actually see you. But you know what I mean. See you.